What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video. We are finishing our box of Dream League. A uh, very cool set with the new character rares. I was trying to think about what I want. I feel like I want some of the common character rares, like the uh, Dawn and Piplup, or the Flannery and Torkoal, more than anything else. Although one, I think it's probably like some kind of rare, is the Red's Pikachu. Or maybe that's a common as well. But we have something else as well. Huge shout out to Pokemon Lover95. He sent us a piece of mail. And uh, oh, yeah, today we are I Wanted Tortuga. We're not doing Unified Minds, but we're still <laughs> repping the I Wanted Tortuga in uh, just in honor of Pokemon Lover95. I'm going to drop a link to his channel down below. Uh, give him a visit and show him some love. Thank you so much uh, for that. And we're going to crack into this mail at the end of the video. But. Uh, yeah, so usually I try to space out these openings for the new Japanese set, just because like I usually only open one box. But uh, <laughs> had no choice for this one. Had to had to rush it because we all know what's happening tomorrow. Hidden Fates is dropping, and I just wanted to do um, but pretend not. I don't know. Pretend it would not shock me if there is kind of like a shortage. I feel like the hype is so much higher than any other set in recent memory that you know maybe there's not enough to go around in the beginning and I kind of want to just throw this caution in the wind that if that's the case if stores sell out really quick and then all you can have is like uh, different vendors online they're selling at like higher rates I will oh man there are so many of these uh I'm blanking on the name I should kind of oh that's a cool one though. I love these so much. It's like different. It's not it's not textured or anything, but something about it is different. I feel like the foil is very different and I really like it. So really feeling these character rares. Um, but yeah, I if in the event that there's not enough supply, you know, the LGSs are out or they're selling it for like Thing that should only cost like MSRP is $15 and they're only selling it for like $20, $25 and same thing online. Like if you can, this might be painful to do, but be patient. You know, if we think back to Unbroken Bonds, I think I almost panicked like, you know, this whole FOMO thing. It's like, all right, I gotta buy it. And like, fortunately I was able to buy it and not at increased rate, but I sympathize for people that were not able to do so and then just shelled out extra money for something that got resupplied. Like, I feel like day literally days later so it would not shock me in the least if that happens for this set as well hidden fates just because it's so hyped right now so if that were to occur if you can't find it just be patient uh all right we got the is this a wishy-washy it's pretty scary looking it's over here. but all right that's our third character rare and that is a common one So yeah, definitely want that Red's Pikachu. Um, would love the Reshi Ram Zekrom, but I kind of doubt we're gonna get that. We have an Oddish and then a Weezing. But yeah, this even though you had all the hypes on Hidden Fates and best of luck to everyone trying to find it. Uh, I did a video yesterday where someone posted on Reddit like that he actually found some. Oh, I want this guy. Um, found some at his Walmart, and so like, actually I guess I could say what town I live in. Like that's where the PO box address is. But I live in a town called like Waltham, and like when I do a Google search for like Walmart, <laughs> it's like nothing in remotely in the area. There's a local Target that I can go check out. But, ooh, another thing I pulled the Rosa last time. So, especially in this area, like the Great Boston area, like, it's just insane how long it could take to get anywhere. Um, so, I'm not sure I'll be able to get to a Walmart, but I will check the local Target. And I feel like GameStop is pretty good about having stuff only on release day. So, I don't think that one will yield in. Ooh, Gladion, or this, um, so Valley GX, I really like this card. I was comparing it to, or I feel like a lot of people are comparing it to Zoroark GX from Shining Legends, and I think the consensus is he's not quite as good, but I feel like he's very similar. Uh, so this is just for a DCE, 50 plus if you use supporter, which 
you probably almost will always use a supporter that turn. It does 120 and then its ability is kind of like Oranguru. Oranguru's Instruct, I don't remember what it's called, but essentially you draw up to five cards. So, you know, so get your supporter out there, then, you know, cycle all your stuff to lower your hand, then use this to draw back up to five. It's kind of like a weakened Cynthia as a Pokemon power. So that is amazing. No, no, a Lily, not Cynthia. So a very good hit right there. Um, I don't think we've gotten any like textured cards yet, but to be honest, I'm primarily looking for these character rares, the CHRs. I love that Pikachu art though. Although, ooh, the alternate art, let's get that. And I love this idea of alternate arts not being limited to like the GXs and stuff and having it for the commons. You know, one, one thing the in Sun and Moon or like up till now, all the cool art is reserved for the GX Pokemon. So, and even though there's a lot of good stuff that are non-GX, but they just don't have that collector's appeal. There's no full art. There's no textured cards. No, you know, although I'm falling out of love with Rainbow Rare, but that's limited to GX as well. Same thing for full arts. And this really changes the game. And the fact that they're, you know, you pull a bunch of them, that, that's a huge appeal. Like, I feel like all the success of, oh man, Oh, wait, is this? Oh, I feel like they're super skimping on the texturized. But we got the alternate art. So this is SR. So I guess they don't call it CHR. But uh, oh man, we pulled the regular version and this one as well. This is also one that just looks that looks like a movie poster. Uh, same thing with the Zekrom Reshiram one with N. I think that one's a little bit better, but I am really happy to have pulled this. I think the card is actually not that good, but that's okay. The art is amazing. So a very solid pull right there. That might be my secret rare. And what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the thing about Unified Minds, I think did make it a successful launch despite the fact that everyone's just waiting for Hidden Fates is it had insane pull rates. Uh, the box I opened up with Amy, like we ended up hitting eight hits, eight GXs, um, and like I think we hit one full art, two secret or hyper rare and a secret rare. So it was an insane box and that kind of like has been the thing that the pull rates are just really good for Unified Minds. And if, at least as far as this Japanese set goes, you know, who knows what it'll be for Cosmic Eclipse, but uh, this set, I feel like the pull rates are very good just because they add these character rares. So, you know, and they're technically common or, I don't know, it's kind of like the secret rares, you know, like the, the surfing Pikachu and stuff like that, that, uh, you know, I feel like didn't get a whole lot of love, but this is the right way to do it in my opinion. You know, just give it that nice full art, this really cool foil, new foil pattern, and a home run in my opinion. We got a Steelix foil. Oh, th these like foils, um, for me at least, like the Japanese foils, like, yeah, these, these do nothing for me now. <laughs> there's too many, there's too many levels above it that it's like, ah, uh, whatever. All right, we still got maybe like five more packs. Oh, Friday is going to be a good day. Um, a couple people have mentioned they're going to take the day off. I don't think I can do that, but I will. Maybe I'll try to get into Target, GameStop before I head into the office. And then hopefully find something and rush back home to do a video for you all. Zatu, this card is amazing. I got confused with the Mimikyu before, but I believe this ability, bring your opponent's Pokemon down to 10 life, plus trying and punishment against any tag team and knocked out. Uh, we got a Sneasel and, oh gosh, what did, I cannot remember your name, but it's like that cool dog. And this is this guy. So this is such a cool concept, you know? All right, we have this, this one's actually a rare. And then we have this, the character one, you know, it's, there's just, it's too biased right now, or prior to this set, the collectible cards are too biased towards the GXs. And this really redefines that and I love it. All right, let's see, we got some kind of fishing rod, Gloom. Requinid and Empoleon. I think Empoleon was kind of cool. I think one of them had the, oh yeah, it's Empoleon. I think it's one of his the DC ability or no, no, just colorless. 
Uh, essentially, it's use the attack of any of the Pokemon you evolve from. I think the best one is the... Actually, I'm not sure about the middle one, but the Piplup has that 80... It's only 80 damage, but I think basic, basically it's an anti-tag team mechanic. Alright, let's see. Magneton. I pulled him before. I don't remember what his ability does, but maybe he just explodes. Because I feel like that's what Magnetons do. I feel like that's what Electrodes do. Poor guys. Alright, only two packs left, but we still have that piece of mail from Pokemon Lover95. Huge shout out to you. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support on the channel. Like, really. Um, you know, we've kind of like got a uh, good amount of like. The sub count has grown pretty significantly in the past month, but uh, you know, as, as happy as I am to do that, I'm super grateful um, to all the people that have stuck with me from you know way back when, when you know I honestly had no idea what I was doing. Uh, you know, it was quite an evolution to get to this point, and I expect to continue to keep changing, figure out what you know what it is that you guys like to watch and stuff like that. And this is our last pack, and I feel like I saw something. Yep. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what do we think it is. I have no idea. I feel like I saw some green vile plume. Boom! Oh, vile plume! <laughs> vile plume GX. What was this ability? I believe it said something like you can heal all your Pokemon by 30 damage, 30 damage every turn or something like that. Uh, I think that's what it was. So this, I feel like there's a couple of Pokemon that do something like that, but I think this one was power, a little bit more powerful. I don't remember why. Uh, this one also did have a pretty cool alternate art with like Erica in there, kind of like I think she was like leaning on Vileplume, like taking up something. I thought it was pretty cool. But oh man, another insane opening. Um, maybe we get like less GXs, but oh gosh, I just love these character rares. So let's see, we got that Vileplume with Erica in the background. So Valley with Gladian back there. Still not sold on Gladian, but uh, yeah, he just feels like a punk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but you look really cool. Looks like she just gave the dog a uh, a bath or something. <laughs> and ooh, look at that. We got Lily with Sogalau and Lunala. Tag Team GX. And all right, sorry for any confusion, um, but. Pokemon Lovers package was so insane that it took me a really long time to open it and the video ended up being too long so I'm actually going to cut things here and have the uh, mail day or the uh, mail in a separate video just so that video is not too long but oh my gosh Pokemon Lover 95 thank you so much it is absolutely insane uh, what you just sent me and yeah I want to have a special video dedicated just to you so check out that in the next video which will be uploaded very soon but uh yeah thanks for watching huge opening really loving this dream league set and uh thanks for watching guys i'm wanted turtle i'll catch you guys in a little bit